Maybe you're having the same problem I am. I just recently purchased this Rode wireless go-to microphone kit. And actually this is just a, a transmitter. I had, I bought the system that has two transmitters and one receiver. And this, these transmitters are actually kind of interesting because you can set them up so they record any time they're turned on. And by itself, you don't need to have the receiver running, by itself, it'll record up to about, I think it's, they say about seven hours worth of, uh, worth of audio. And you can use that as like a, a, a backup recording for a video you're making, or if you want to do voiceover. So it's actually pretty neat, right? Except I had a little problem with this. I was using uh, Rode Central 2.0.6, and any time I did a recording on this transmitter, on, actually on both of them, but on, I'm holding this one up because I use this just for those kind of recordings. Any time I did a recording on it, when I hooked it up to Rode Central to download the, the audio file, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. So I'm going to tell you how I fixed it. So here's the setup. It's the first time installed. I just got the, this uh, wireless microphone kit. So I went to the uh, Rode website and I downloaded uh, the latest version of Rode Central for Windows. And that version is uh, version uh, 2.0.6. When you download it uh, and you plug in your uh, your devices, in this case I had two transmitters and a receiver, it uh, it it prompts you to update the firmware on all three three devices to version 2.2.0, which it needs to work with uh, work correctly with this version of uh, Road Central. I then took one of the transmitters and I set the record function to always. And when you select always, anytime the transmitter is turned on, it will record and store anything it records in the transmitter, regardless whether the receiver is on or not, it will record whatever it hears. And it can record for, it says, seven plus hours, but certainly there's plenty of space on here. So uh, after setting this, and anytime you turn it on or you turn it off, uh, it'll, it'll write a new file. It'll start a file when you turn it on, it'll end the final file when you turn it off. I went and I made a couple of recordings, and when I hooked this transmitter back up to Road Central, it said no recordings available. I said, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I can see what's being stored in the transmitter. So I hooked that up to my computer, went into um, uh, Windows, uh, file ex Windows Explorer here, and I can see the files, the files that I recorded. And actually I did this a couple of times. I recorded files, I deleted files. I could see there was files being stored but they just didn't show up in, uh, in Road Central. And I tried it with both transmitters. I tried loading Road Central again, and I couldn't find anything. So what did I do? I did the same thing everybody that doesn't have a clue would do. I Googled it. And I saw lots of people talking about having a similar problem but no real solutions. Until I came across a video by a gentleman named Merhan Haddad. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But he had some, he had an interesting video that he put up earlier this year, probably around January of this year, where he talked about a similar problem happening in an earlier version of Road Central. And in there he talked about loading in an earlier version. The version that was out was buggy. Not that I think that this version that I have now is buggy, but he said 
he was working with a version that was bugging and he recommended loading in an earlier version of Road Central. And I said, oh, that's interesting. Maybe I'll give that a try. By the way, I've linked that video in the description below if you want to take a look at that. So anyhow, I went there and on his site he actually had the software for an earlier version of Road Central and I downloaded it just to see what would happen. Just to play around, you know, desperate times demand desperate actions. And when you don't have a clue, what do you got to lose, right? So anyhow, I uh, completely removed version 2.0.6, the, the latest version of Road Central from my computer, and I put in this very old version, version 1.2.1. I had to look. I had to write it down because I don't have a good memory. And just to see what would happen. Surprisingly, it was able to talk to the transmitters and the receivers. It was a little funny, but I, you know, and I said, well, that's not going to work. And I did some playing around and I said, okay, I had enough fun here. And I still couldn't see the, see the files that were saved on the, uh, the audio files that were saved on the, on the transmitters. So I said, well, I wonder what happens if I just load in the latest version of Road Central over the top of that. So I had version 1.2.1 already loaded. And I reloaded version 2. Point whatever the hell that was. I even forget. On top of the latest version of Road Central. On top of the old version. Just to see what would happen. I got nothing to lose. It's not working anyhow. And it started working. It works perfect. I unloaded everything off my computer. I removed all versions of Road Central. I put the new version on. I was able to recreate the same problem with the new version. Took it off. Put the older version of Road Central on. And then put the latest version of Road Central on top of that. And it works perfect. Go figure. So anyhow, let me show you what it looks like when it's working right. So check this out. You can see all the recordings I made today. And you can select one and export it if that's what you want to do. What a thing of beauty. Too bad it took me about three weeks to get here. But it was worth the effort. Well, there you go. Obviously it worked. Or I wouldn't have been able to do the two voiceovers I did in this video. I'm interested to hear if you've run across this problem and what you did to fix it. Drop it down in the comments below. Or put anything else you want in the comments. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon.